what's up guys welcome back to another video today i have a book haul i never do book hauls but fierce read sent me two boxes of books mainly books that i requested they're middle grade and ya there's some graphic novels in here as well so I figured I would share them with you. Most of these books are 2020 releases, so I figured I would share them with you so that you can be aware of them and put them on your Goodreads list, pre-order them, and all of that kind of stuff. So I will have all of the titles down below. There is a Google Chrome extension for Goodreads. I'll link it down below. I made a video about it a while ago, so just giving you a little Goodreads hack. Um, you just have to right click and then you can like search later or search now to find the title. I use it all the time and so I figured I would share it if you haven't heard of it. So yeah, all the titles would be down below, but first I want to promote some things just to let you know that if you are a new subscriber, here are some things that I do. First off, this month, October, is LGBTQ plus history month and I happen to run an LGBTQ plus book club called Rainbow Reads. The links are always down below. Live shows have been a little bit iffy right now because I'm in school and I just need to find the time to talk about the book, but right now we are reading These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling for the spooky season. So if you've been wanting to read that, read it with us this month and I will hopefully have a live show up soon. That's really the main plug that I wanted to plug. Um, and yeah, let's get into the video. So I'm going to start with the first box right here. These are all the middle grades that I've received. This is kind of like an unboxing, yet the box is already open, but that's because I'm impatient and the books are sent to my house, like where my room and all is, not at school. And then I ask my mom to open them for me and send me a picture because I'm impatient. But here we go. Here are the middle grades. If you are interested in middle grade, here we go. But if you're not, I will put like a timestamp either in the description or on the screen so you can go to the YA if you are interested in that. Um, let's see. So I received three middle grades from Fierce Reads and they are an imprint of Macmillan. Macmillan has so many good middle grades coming out this year. Like I had a big list of all of the ones that I wanted because they just sounded so good. So some of the books that I requested either have a mental health or a neurological theme. And so the first book is What Stars Are Made Of by Sarah Allen. And this follows a girl named Libby and she has Turner Syndrome. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but I'm sure that I will figure out once I read it. But the book focuses on Libby's sister's pregnancy. Her and her husband are expecting their first child. Libby knows that they are in a financial black hole. And she also knows that some babies aren't born healthy from her own experience. To help her sister, she enters a contest with a project about Cecilia Payne, who is the first person to discover what stars are made of. And so she wins, she's going to give the grand prize money to her sister's family, like her and her husband, and that is so nice. This book is a debut novel. I'm excited to read it just to experience this author's writing. And I would like to learn about Turner Syndrome. I honestly don't know anything about it, but this story just sounds really nice and I'm excited. I love middle grade because it's just so pure. Um, and yeah, this book comes out on March 31st, 2020. The next book is a middle grade graphic novel that comes out in February, 2020. And it is so cool. This is called Snapdragon by Kate Lee. And it is just so cool. Like that's the only thing that I can really say about it is that it just looks cool. Um, I'll try and give a really good view of it because it deserves it. This book sounds so cool. The author is the co-writer and cover artist of Lumberjanes. So if you liked that, pick this up because it sounds cool. I'm just gonna read what the synopsis says because I don't think I could do it justice. It just sounds so cool. It says, Snap's town has a witch. At least that's the rumor. In reality, Jax is just a Crocs wearing internet savvy old lady who sells the skeletons of roadkill online. Awesome. It's creepy, sure, but Snap's thinks it's kind of cool too. Snap needs a favor from this old woman though, so she begins helping Jax with her strange work. Snap gets to know her and realizes that Jax may in fact have real magic and an unlikely connection to Snap's family past. Ooh, 
spooky. <laughs> it sounds good. I don't know if this is middle grade. Like it doesn't sound like it, but it, it, I think it is. It just sounds pretty cool. If you like the Lumberjanes, definitely put this on your TBR. So the last middle grade I was sent is A Galaxy of Sea Stars by Jean Zulik Frulio. And this cover, like I told you guys, the art, the covers in this video are amazing. We should, I should probably just title this Hauling Gorgeous Books. This is about an 11 year old girl named Izzy and she's about to start sixth grade with her three friends who they all call each other the Sea Stars. Um, but she is having a rocky time. She really just wants everything to go back to the way it was before her father was deployed to Afghanistan. But unfortunately, everything changes once her dad invites his former interpreter over to their house. Um, I'm not sure if it's like to stay or whatever. I think it's just like for a visit or whatever. Um, and she meets a girl named Sierra. She meets a girl named Sierra and she wears a hijab. And so it really just talks about diversity and just becoming friends with people who are different than you. And I'm just so excited for this because I just love friendships like that. Like that just, this book just made me soft. Like this book made me soft and I'm sure when I read it, I'm gonna be softer than I already was. Um, but yeah, it sounds really good. It comes out February, 2020. Let's see if we have a date. February 4th, 2020. So those are the three middle grades I was sent. Then I have this big ass box of YA. <laughs> um, so as a reviewer, for Fierce Reads. Each season, Fierce Reads reaches out to me and sends me a couple of options for books. So they're all different colors and there's like four of them and I pick my highest priority to my least priority and then I'm just surprised by the book that they send me and I'm so excited because I know what most of these are and I'm just really excited. So let's get started. <laughs> all right. This is kind of like an unboxing too because it's like covered. All right, here we go. Honestly, all the covers are amazing, but I'm gonna start with this graphic novel and he is thick, thick, T-H-I-C-C, -C, thick. This is Dragon Hoops and this is actually by the author of American Chinese, born Chinese or something like that, American born Chinese, I think. Did not like that book, so I'm kind of interested in this. Like, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but it looks like it's a sports book. Totally excited. Um, oh, well, maybe you guys, maybe you guys would be interested in it. Um, so this author kind of writes his life story or experiences kind of like that. And this book is just all about him not understanding basketball. <laughs> So if you don't understand basketball, maybe you can relate, but we'll see. I'll give it a chance. I'm not gonna judge it before I read it, but the synopsis sounds a little weird. Um, it just says, Gene doesn't get sports. As a kid, his friends called him Stick. Every basketball game, he ended up in pain. Mood. <laughs> um, he lost interest in basketball long, long ago. Okay, I apologize for judging this book before actually reading what it was about. I mean, I kind of skimmed it, but this is just about Jean learning more about basketball and kind of understanding why people enjoy it. Um, he ends up getting to know some young all-stars from the team, um, the Dragons. They made it to the California State Championships, um, or they're trying to, they're trying to win, something like that. I don't know basketball, I only know hockey, so... Maybe I will understand basketball too because I don't understand why people like basketball either. But maybe this book will enlighten me. And it comes out March 2020, specifically March 17th, 2020. So if you're interested, go pre-order it, add it to your Goodreads, you know what to do. Next, what a beautiful cover, is Defy the Sun by Jessica Flick. Whoa, cool. Like, honestly, it looks awesome. Um, oh, this is the author of Beware the Night. So if you've read that book, 
that's her, this is her next book i guess so i actually think that this might be a sequel to a book i'm not entirely sure but it has a cool cover it is a historical fiction i'm pretty sure because it says civil war has come to the island of bellona um the island will burn unless okay okay so this might be historical fiction it might be a fantasy not entirely sure um it like doesn't even say here it just says swoon reads which i know that they've been doing some other stuff um i don't know what genre this is it might be historical fiction and it might be fantasy because um there's just the civil war has come to the island of bellona and there's these two characters um vita and nico and they are the only two people to save the island from burning so nico was taken by the knight and vita is being held hostage <laughs> I don't know what genre this is. There's so many things in the synopsis that are making me confused. Um, but anyway, it sounds pretty good. Has a cool cover. I just am really obsessed with the cover. Um, and it comes out on March 10th, 2020. Sorry if I didn't explain it that well, but I will have it the title down below if you want to go and look it up. Um, I just don't really know. It might be a romance too, because it says, Nico and Dorian will never trust each other. Um, oh, Dorian is the one who is held, holding Vita hostage. Um, and so it says, but Nico and Dorian will never trust each other and Vita's heart might be the biggest casualty. We got a love triangle going on? Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry for not really explaining this book because I honestly don't understand it. Um, but like I said, down below you can learn more about it and it comes out March 10th, 2020. It also might be a sequel, I'm not sure. The first book it says, um, Beware the Night, it says praise for Beware the Night. Um, so, I don't know, maybe it's a companion, let me know. <laughs> it's just like, I see this, oh. this next book has me feeling a lot of things that I'm not going to say on the internet. <laughs> but when you see this cover, honestly, you might do it too. This is also a very thick book, but a gorgeous book. And this is Little Universe by Heather Demetrios. I've never read a book by her, but this cover. <laughs> like, I can't express my feelings without just like going like, <laughs> like that's the only way um but whoa i need to know what this is about because it looks awesome i think it is a sci-fi this is not such outer space okay um okay i really guessed the plot too soon so this is a contemporary apparently probably one of the most beautiful covers in the history of contemporary. This is about May and Hannah and a tsunami strikes the island that their parents are on in Malaysia. Um, oh shit. <laughs> it becomes clear to the sisters that their parents are never coming home. So this book is really about two sisters who lost their parents due to a tsunami in Malaysia and this follows two girls, Maya this follows the sisters, May and Hannah, and they are forced to live in Boston. Ooh, is this like a Summerland vibe? So since that happened, they are forced to move out of California to Boston for the rest of their senior year. And this just is about their bond as sisters. So if you like a book about friendship, or no, friendship. <laughs> so if you like a book with a beautiful cover about grief and sisters, get it <laughs> um it comes out april 2020 i'm sorry it sounds so good like why do you guys gotta wait for it i don't know i'm sorry it comes out april 7th so it's okay you you won't have too much to wait but you might um but whoa it looks good it's thick maybe i'll do a reading vlog for this let me know actually let me know in the comments which book you would like to see me do a reading vlog for um obviously it wouldn't be spoiler or anything or if you want me to do like a couple books let me know in the comments because i would like to do something like that so that i am reading these books and i'm giving you guys the feedback because 
a lot of these sound so good we need to read them um but yeah little universes it's not set in outer space but maybe it is this cover we'll give it like like a three <laughs> um but this is into the shadow of the sun by m castellan look at the cover i'm gonna tell you the synopsis because this cover does not look like it and the shadow of the sun that doesn't really sound like what the synopsis is about but it says her magic can save the kingdom we would also bring her love um this is about like the royalty system <laughs> I couldn't guess that could not have guessed it. It's 1661 and the magicians thrill nobles with enchanting illusions. Exiled in France, 17 year old Henriette of England wishes she could use her magic to gain entry at court. It would ensure her future and make everyone forget her connection with her infamous father, the English king, executed for treason during the Civil War. Ooh, okay. Uh, but with a chronic illness consuming her lungs, performing spells that reshape reality could prove fatal. Instead, she planned to hide her magical talents and accept an arranged marriage to the French king's younger brother. Yikes. But look at that, we got some chronic illness representation, so look forward to this book if that is the representation that you like to read about. Um, this comes out February 2020, so not too much to wait, but still kind of. Hopefully this isn't the official cover because it we need we need a change. <laughs> really need a change. All right. Next is the book that I'm most excited about that I did not think I was gonna get, and this is Lucky Caller by Emma Mills. Oh, I'm so excited for this, honestly. Um, um. So basically, this is about Nina who takes a radio broadcasting class for her senior year and she expects it to be a walk in the park but instead it's a complete disaster. So this is like a very awkward group project and I have not heard anything like that before. Um, so basically this is like the worst group project like group you could ever have. Um, so her group includes Jamie, a childhood friend she'd hoped to basically avoid for the rest of her life. The show's a mess, internet rumors threaten to bring the wrath of two fandoms down on their heads and to top it all off, Nina's family is on the brink of some major upheaval. Everything feels like it's spiraling out of control, but maybe control is overrated. Yeah. Sounds so good. Comes out January 2020, so not too much longer to wait. Um, set, it should say inside. It comes out January 14th, so put it on your TBR, pre-order it, you know what to do. Right. Two more books. We have The Silence of Bones by June Her. So this is like a historical fiction but thriller and this is set in 1800 um, Joseon, Korea. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. So this is Own Voices. The author was born in South Korea and she was raised in Canada. So we have a Korean Canadian author. So that's kind of cool. So this is about a 16 year old girl named Seoul and she is assigned to help a young investigator investigate the murder of a noble woman. Um, and they just delve deeper into the woman's secrets. Sounds cool. I haven't heard of like a book like this before, so pretty excited. Comes out April 2020. Um, specifically, it comes out April 21st, 2020. Last, I have Finding Mr. Better Than You by Shani Petrol. I'm like not trying to tea, like there's no tea or anything. It's just, I try to read her, um, Christmassy book thing and I just didn't like it. So this is a rom-com contemporary romance about a girl named Cameron whose boyfriend Mark, or I guess ex-boyfriend now, um, he <laughs> publicly breaks up with her and the whole book is her trying to move on from the breakup and it says to find someone better. This book comes out January 2020, so if you are interested in a rom-com contemporary romance kind of thing, this might be for you. I don't know if it'll be for me, 
I'll try it, we'll see. But, <laughs> I might not like it. Um, but yeah, comes out January 2020 if you are interested. So those were all the books I was sent from Fierce Reads. Thank you to them for sending me these books. I'm so excited to read them. If you want me to do a reading vlog of any of these books, let me know either your top three um, or just one that you saw and you were like, I really want a reading vlog of that. I really just want to know your thoughts on it. So let me know in the comments and I will pick the ones that are like talked about the most or like requested the most and I will do a reading vlog maybe like at the end of the year or something like that. But we'll see. Last I have a book that I was sent from my friend Sarah and I was really surprised by this. I linked my Amazon wish list. It is always linked down below if you would like to send me something and I'll share it in a book haul or I'll just share it and be so grateful. I got an email saying I got a package and I was so excited to see this. In like one of my videos, I forget, maybe it was like my best books of the year so far, I think I said I really want Wayward Son. And then Sarah was like, okay, I'll get it for you. And here it is. Oh my gosh. I am so excited to read this. I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but I will make it a priority and I'm so happy. Like I said, my Amazon wish list is down below if you are interested in sending me a book. Um, you don't have to, but just in case you would like to. That's the video. That was a lot of talking about books. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and hit subscribe if you haven't for videos every week about books. The next video I have is so exciting and I can't wait to do it. I haven't filmed it yet, but I'm really excited. It's a Halloween kind of video. If you're like a subscriber, you can just know. Like if you've just been with, if you've been on my channel since like day one, you will know what it is. But like, I'm so excited. Anyway, thank you for watching. I have a Patreon if you would like to support me on there. And that's really it. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you next time. Thank you.